Hello everyone, welcome to our channel. In today's video, I am going to dive deep into the settings and options available for a dual monitor setup to your laptop with Windows 10. So let's get into it. If you are someone new to our channel, please consider subscribing as we do regular videos about tech reviews and tutorials just like this one, as well as videos on Fitbit smartwatch, designing tutorials, YouTube education and cooking. Check out our playlist tab to find curated videos for various content we post on our channel. I'm pretty sure you'll find interesting stuff on our channel. A while back, I did a video tutorial for dual monitor setup for laptops with single Type-C USB port like Asus ZenBook 3, MacBook, etc where I have talked about various options for adapters and hubs available for this setup. You can check that video up here and at the end of the video after you finish this video. I have also done a video tutorial for dual monitor setup for laptops like Acer Spin 3, Spin 5, Swift, basically for all the laptops who have at least one HDMI and a USB 3.0 port or a 2.0 port. Where I have shown all the adapters needed for that setup, you can also find that video up here and at the end of this video. In both those videos, I have not talked about the settings and options for those dual monitors available on Windows 10, which I'll be addressing in this video. So to start with, this is the setting I have been using for my Asus ZenBook 3 and it will be apparent on the other videos too. So let's go ahead and open settings. You can do that by typing setting in the search bar or by accessing it from the windows menu. Once you are on the setting page, go on to the system or type display in the search bar. And that's where today's most of the video will be focused on. You can see that the displays right here are number three and number one slash two, which is my laptop screen duplicated on the monitor number two. Stick with me till the end as I will elaborate on the positioning of the monitors. You can detect additional monitor if they are attached to your system by clicking on the detect button, as well as identify the attached monitor by clicking on the identify button. You can also control brightness, colors and night light via this option. Keep in mind that the changes will be applied for the selected monitor. So make sure you have selected the correct one. This Windows HD color setting is basically for HDR high dynamic range settings provided if it's supported by the monitor or the display of your laptop. Keep in mind having these options on for your laptop's display will affect the battery life. In my case I have this awesome Asus monitor which does support this feature which I am not gonna talk in depth today but check the link in the description of this video if you are looking for an awesome gaming monitor and deals on more cool stuff. Let's go back now. You have the option of scale and layout. I have selected the recommended 125 percentage. You can also go in the advanced setting and make sure to turn on the auto scaling for apps on. You can also customize but I would rather let Windows do that job for me unless required. Next is the resolution and orientation which in my case is 1080 and landscape again depends on the type of the monitor you have. Now the last one and the important one is the multiple display option. So currently here I have duplicate desktop on 1 and 2. I can also extend desktop on 1 and 2, show only on 1 and show only on 2. Now with the last two options basically the screen will be either displayed on 1 or 2 which is not our goal. Again, at any point, if you are not sure about the number of the display, go back up and hit the identify button to find out. Let's go ahead and hit the extend desktop on one and two. Click the keep, keep these changes. 
Now you can see that the display 1 is between 3 and 2. Let me show you what that means by dragging this folder across. And you can see that's not ideal currently as my laptop is beside the monitor number 2. So let me show you how to fix it. You don't have to physically arrange the monitors. All you have to do is drag the display 1 towards the right side of the display number 2 and click apply. Let me show you that by dragging a folder across. Likewise, you can pretty much change the orientation in whatever way you want. Let me show you a couple of options. Now, if you place any display on top of the other, you have to drag the cursor in that direction. Let me show you an example. Let's apply this and drag the folder across. Now let's just go ahead and revert everything to back as it was. So I really hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and maybe give it a thumbs up anyways as an appreciation to our effort for making this video. Thank you so much for watching this video. Take care and I'll see you guys in the next video. Mm -hmm.